Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. We're on Sunday, uh, this Labor Day weekend, and the Lord has pressed me and had me write down a few things. I've had uh, some dreams that I need to share with you, and I hope it will bring encouragement. Firstly, I am going to just pray real quick. Oh, glasses, where are you when I need you? I thought they were right here. Okay, just one moment if you could just bear with me. Please ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. He has given you the breath in your lungs and he sustains you. If Jesus wasn't alive, nothing would be sustainable for his purpose was to come with the gospel, the good news. So his very being, Holy Spirit, by his power is what allows every person in the earth to breathe in your lungs by his power every person tribe tongue and nation is being held together through his grace fresh oxygen is nourishing your holy body your body because he is making it too so breathe out your thanks to him for such love and mercy. He does not leave you to breathe on your own. He is completely invested in every little detail of your life. And the most basic parts of life with you. The enemy has his demons in people always stating the devil is in the details. Well, that is imitation. As we all know, he likes to imitate. Do you see that? The falseness of the lie in that. Okay. A marvelous and loving creator we have. Lord, I ask you to bless this time, this short time in this video. Heavenly, faithful Father of lights, there is no one like you. None in all the heavens or earth. We pray for wisdom from above and not from this world. You are glorious and wonderful, kind and gentle and caring and most powerful and terrible. No, no one like you. Our full affection is towards you, Father. Our affliction is fixed. I'm sorry, our affection, not our affliction, but that as well can be part, part of the process, okay? Because we all are in tribulation from the moment that we start screaming when we come out of our mother's womb is the very moment that your the beginning process of death starts. So our affection is fixed on you and we pray for all nations to come in surrender to you now. Lord, Lead their focus away from the troubles that seem to insurmountably let their focus be on you. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would show yourself to those, them, and find and reveal Jesus as everything they need. Jesus is our strength and stability that we cannot find in the world. And in seeking you, we are able to live in community, 
the way we are created to. The thousand year millennial reign is almost here. Lord, and we are the kingdom of kings and priests of Melchizedek. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Millions of men and women, this is the truth. May this sink deeply into our souls as hearing these things, whom I have in heaven, but you, your spirit, has been poured out on all flesh, Thousands are now sharing testimonies on miracles and having dreams and prophesying and just their testimonies, period, of how they came out of being in the spirit of the natural man, which is the first stated in Corinthians. First comes the natural man and then comes the spiritual man second. It's like throughout the Bible, we're given examples between Esau and Jacob, and Esau was grabbing that heel, I'm sorry, Jacob was grabbing the heel of Esau, and he wanted to come out first, but thankfully he didn't, because then he would be serving, um, because the elder will be serving the younger. It states this in the Bible as well. So that is saying, and then there's Cain and Abel, Okay, Cain came out first. He was wicked, uh, the natural man. And Abel, notice, El, the great almighty God. Emanu is with us. El is the almighty God. Notice, Emmanuel, El, and then we have Gabriel, Mike, El, Raphael, and so on and so forth. So you see that our creator named his top archangels after himself. So it gives us an, a type and a model there with Cain being not a name of God. And he was the firstborn. And then we have Ab L. L is at the end of that. Okay, I don't care if people pronounce it Abel, 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 whatever, but it still has L at the end. So this is amazing. Um, millions of men and women, I want to come. I pray, Lord, that they would come. I'm humbling myself, submitting myself to you, holy, humbly, lowly and asking that your spirit lead them to Jesus, your holy word. There is nothing on earth that I desire. My flesh and heart may fail, but you, Lord, are the strength of my heart and my portion that you fleshed out, squeezed out as you are the potter and all of us are the clay forever. You are my first and last desire and your strength. When all other things fail, keep us going. Do not give up, sisters and brothers. Jesus is coming. All right, so now I'm going to tell you about the dreams. These dreams. Uh, and he had me to title the dream, Revelation 12, Dream of the Delivery of the Man-Child. Labor Day Finished, saith the Lord. Okay, here we go. Three and a half years ago, I dreamed that my daughter and I were at a mall. Okay, the mall represents... The, uh, the, the, it represents the merchants of the earth, okay? And then the mall was like high and it was like an endless mall. Like you could, you can, and I think that represents the earth too. Also because it had many floors to it. So the highness, the high places where the wicked, the powers that are up in the high places are at. 
okay? And a tsunami hit, a wave hit. The wave represented the unsaved people and the enemy and the Holy Spirit. We were swept away. I held my daughter close to my heart in my arms, both arms wrapped around her, and we were just fine. We were floating just down, just completely serenely through this wave of chaos. Okay? This is such an interesting dream, and I'll never forget it. It was so vivid and surreal. I will never forget it. Um, yeah. Okay, this is so significant now. So as what we did is we had gone into a shop inside of the store in the mall to find a place to sleep. I put down the fenced chain like protect protection shield. Do you know how they pull those down in the malls when they go to close? And I was just making a place for us to go to sleep. But a second wave hit. Once that second wave hit, we were pulled away again. And again, we were just floating. There, there was complete peace. My daughter wasn't struggling or anything or screaming. We were just, she was in my arms. And we were gently being swept away by this tidal wave. And uh, I put on... Oh, I'm sorry, I got back a little bit there, okay? The second wave did hit, okay? And then through this endless mall, representing the world, again, water, just representing the Holy Spirit. Again, the water settled. A third wave hit, and this time... We were still really calm, but I'll never forget this. An alligator, because we were under the water, and an alligator swam by. I remember seeing him, and he didn't even come near us. And also, a serpent swam, a snake. And you know, I, I can't stand those things. I don't like bugs too well either. Um, but yes, so this serpent floated by and we came out of the mall, which means we came out of the world, uh, representing we came out of the world and we were separated. As I stood up, my water broke. Now in the dream, of course I had no idea I was pregnant and it was a violent violent breaking of water. I mean, it just, whoosh, I mean, all over. It was like almost like a fire. It was like a hose, like coming out of a fire hydrant, that kind of a violent breaking of water. And what I saw approaching from a distance away was a Roman soldier. This is the only man that was in the dream besides my daughter and myself. And he was dressed up in the full garb of, an, of the attire of the Roman soldier, complete with the black boots all the way up to the knees tied up. And then he had his helmet on with that big, you know, it looks like some kind of a whatever feathers hanging or I don't know what it is on the top of the helmet of the Roman soldier, but red and black and just leather vested, the sword and everything. And as my water was breaking, he's running at me saying, stop, stop, he said, you're gonna kill us all. Now, the Holy Spirit told me that that represented, of course, Jesus and the body, which is all of us. So 
that was incredible. I watched his body. Fire came down from above. And I watched his body burn all the way down to the bones. And he was screaming. And I'm, see I'm seeing the skeleton face by the time everything burned and melted off. That's why I said I would never forget that dream. It was so vivid. <sighs> Very graphic. Okay, so he caught on fire and that was it. He was done. I woke up and I believe this was truly a warning. For thus saith the Lord, vengeance, vengeance is mine. And you cannot hide in dumbs or bunkers, people. Come to Jesus now. Repent. The kingdom of God is at hand. Now the second, dra the second dream I had was that I was giving birth to a baby. I gave birth to a beautiful little baby and I woke up and I remembered that and it just stuck with me because this was recent. So the other dream that I had was three and a half years ago and now three and a half years later the baby, since my water broke, the baby was delivered. Okay, so then the Holy Spirit told me to read Revelation 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for, the, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Now, in the Strong's Concordance, when you read this and check it, caught up is the word harpazo, to be seized, snatched away violently up into the heavens. So the harpazo is what a lot of people call rapture. I try not to use that word anymore um, I, because it means raptor. It means to be plundered and raped, but it can also mean a violent snatching away, seizing up property that belongs to you. All right. And the woman, which is Israel, fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the giant ja dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was there pl a place found any more for them in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. And he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. Amen. That's it. I just wanted to share that. The two dreams and we are at Labor Day weekend and I was prompted. I'm so tired. I worked like five days in a row and I'm telling you what, I'm so sore. 
please pray for me all I haven't had much sleep I'm really tired but I was so excited when the Lord shared to you know he wanted me to share this with you do not be um, just be encouraged do not be down um, when you think that I know we've been all watching and a lot of people want to fight against like the whole let's argue about when um, the second coming is but see if you really study Revelation there is his appearing in the sky and that is not the second coming okay that's a whole separate issue that's a separate time at the end when he throws Satan the false prophet and well Satan gets sealed and locked up for a thousand years the Antichrist and the false prophet they are thrown into the fiery you know like a fire along with everybody else that took the mark of the beast I'm begging you and I'm also praying Father God for all nations and that you would have mercy you are just holy and true and you reign on the just and the unjust and he does not want anyone to perish but to have eternal life and be a part of his family so I don't want to keep this too long I want to go ahead and move on and um, I pray that you are all blessed and just keep praying and pray for one another as we see the day approaching amen amen love you sisters and brothers and have a wonderful rest of your weekend and we just know that our Lord is coming his appearing his marvelous appearing in the sky is at any moment any moment and that's a whole separate time that he comes and um, let me just tell you too I did receive a notice just a couple of things I received a notice on my door that they're going to be coming September 18th door to door with vaccinations to vaccinate people okay I have the letter I took screenshots of it I'm gonna do a little video about that and show a couple of things documents that y'all should see but let's just uh, stay strong don't worry about those things okay the Lord look John they put him into a pot of boiling oil and nothing happened to him okay if it, God's will be done that's that God's will be done and he is amazing and holy and true and this is not an idol behind me right here I just wanted you to know this picture is not an idol when I was a little girl my mother tried to commit suicide and I had a dream in the fourth grade at my grandmother's house while I was staying with her and I had no idea about any of this stuff and I was shown I was standing in complete darkness and I remember I was standing in water that was up to about my ankles and the stars were right above my head and I could like physically reach up and they were just right above my head beautiful stars and it was like I was in some kind of huge auditorium because the sound was like I don't even know how to describe it um, like I don't know I don't want to go there with that but listen there was a light that shone down a distance away and on a rock on this rock was a lamb and then on the other side of the auditorium a light shone down and there was a lion on that rock and an out loud voice audibly said you are having a prophetic dream now this started in the fourth grade so I was like what eight nine years old and when I was 21 I had my first dream about the uh, Russians nuking the United States I've had five now and the last one I had was that Chicago was nuked 
the one before that, my daughter and I both dreamt the same exact very moment, the same day at the same time. And I was taken to New York and shown two nukes that went off in New York. And then I shot up into the heavens. And my daughter was at Walmart and all the babies disappeared. And she was watching all these people screaming frantically. And I've had dreams too where I was like left to see what happened and all the chaos. That happened when I was 21. But then I was like taken... Um, it was crazy what happened in that dream. I don't want to keep going on to different dreams, y'all, because I've had so many. But the dreams that I just told you that have to do with labor and giving birth, those were the ones that the Holy Spirit wants me to share with you today. So I love y'all. Peace and grace. And I got, somebody gave this to me the other night uh, at work. I did switch jobs. Uh, so the last two weeks now I've been at a different job and somebody gave this to me that they won there's a stuffed animal machine there and they gave this to me and it just made me feel good like these kind of things are more important to me than money do you hear me I know it's got like some really beautiful colors it's got like all the colors of we've got the seven colors not the six like that other uh, rainbow that the others use but Look at all these beautiful colors. It's really pretty. So I'm giving you a big hug from me to you and my heart to your heart. I love you and I can't wait to see you so soon and give you all big hugs. I can't wait. I just want to meet all of you that, I mean, like it said, in our community because there's not everybody like our neighbors. We're to love our neighbors as ourselves. And then love the Lord thy God with all your mind, heart, and soul. So remember every morning, last thing, when you get up in the morning, standing therefore with your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and your loins girt about with the belt of truth. And when you put that sh the breastplate of righteousness on and your helmet of salvation on, you're protecting your heart and your brain and your soul so you can love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. The shield of faith to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked ones. You know, look at my stuff. I mean, this, this, I'm not even going to talk about it, but this thing is huge. And this is love, okay? There are hearts up and down this thing. And we are going to disappear. But there's, it's spiraling like DNA. And this thing is so tall. And if you go back on my videos, see, I, I pray. Uh, I do a lot of warrior praying against the spring that goes on up above. And I've been doing it for years. And so I'm thinking that maybe that's why I was given this. Because I can use this because I'll face uh, the east, the west, the south, the north. And I will ask the Lord to hasten and holy warring Psalm 91 angels down to rebuke these demonic entities out of the skies, spraying their chemicals on top of us. Um, and in Jesus name I pray and then I will say bind seven times and then attack seven times. And I never even knew I was doing it. It just happened over the course of the last four years. How many times I was saying it. One day I counted it because it's so natural. It comes natural. Well, the seven times I realized I was saying bind seven times and then attack seven times. And I was doing it seven sets. So 49 times. Bind, 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 bind. Deck, 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 deck. So I will loosen and hasten holy warring angels down. And that's, we're used as conduits. And we all have different gifts. And so praying, praying, praying for the nations. Praying against these wicked powers that are up in the heavens that are going to be shaken and uh, thrown down. And we've had earthquakes all over and more earthquakes and something big 
in the next few weeks, but every day expect it because we are going to be, uh, you know, the Lord's appearing his beautiful, marvelous, wonderful, beautiful appearing in the sky is coming. And I just can't wait. So look up your redemption draws nigh. Okay. And if you're curious about the 1111, in, there's only two verses in the Bible that in Hebrew, gematria equals 1111. Uh, one of them, that's why I always stress, A, admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. B, believe in the blood shed on the cross. He came fully man and fully God. And then C, confess out loud that Jesus is Lord. And then the Holy Spirit woke me up at like three something in the morning and he told me to get out of bed and get my marker go to the board and write down deliverance demonstrated upon receiving a water baptism now it's no wonder that 1111 equals verily verily i say unto thee unless a man be born of the fire and the spirit you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven and so that's it equals 1111 or it's verily, verily, I say unto thee, unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Jesus says it twice. That's serious because he does that throughout the whole Bible. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, they repeat themselves. And when they say something twice, it's serious. Or if it's a woe or a woe, woe. Right? And then the third woe, 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 woe. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Okay? And then the other thing that equals 1111 is lift up your heads. Your redemption draws near. Okay? So just keep up. Keep, keep your head looking up. Talk to him. Have a close relationship with him. Repent. Repent for your sins on a daily basis because sometimes, listen, it may not even be a physical sin out of the commandments that you're committing. It's a correction process in the way you're thinking is, is happening, okay? So the devil likes to try to whisper into your ear and if these thoughts come into your head that are not of you, that you normally wouldn't think, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. But this is also, sometimes we ourselves will have thoughts and it's not, not the devil or a demon. And so it'll try, you'll, you yourself have an, a thought that's sinful. You need to repent of that. It's a correction process and it just takes time. It doesn't mean that you're not saved, okay? Because we're all a work in process in progress, okay? And it, you progress as you grow. But the most important thing is just talking to Jesus every day. When you wake up, put your armor on. Ask him to put your armor on. And, you know, just get into what you can because we all have jobs and it's very difficult because these companies and corporations now, you're not even allowed to talk about Jesus, okay? That's why I was fired, I believe. I quit though, really, to be honest with you, but they wanted me to quit and um, they were like just making fun of me all the time for being loving Jesus so much. And I have a lot of wonderful customers that love Jesus. And I know that that's why he wanted me there was for that reason. So I don't need to go on and on about me anymore. This has gone way too long. But I love you all and I'll see you soon. All right. God bless you.